Come here, come here. In your face! <laughs> you was crucified. Hello, hello everybody! So we will talk about Syndicate in a little bit, and also, um, this guy! So, I don't know who started this, but this is from Calder Cutter, and this is his kitty. So thanks for that. So yeah, I got this cat, and I did tweak it a bit. I don't know if I improved it, but I definitely made it more tiger-like. There's mine. And yes, mine is good to go. Mine is battle-ready. So we will definitely take that out into battle. And while we're doing that, we can talk some Syndicate stuff. So first of all, excuse me, I'm in a cat. So anyway, the, what I'm looking forward to a lot is some armor. We do see here there are some armor, some new bits of armor are starting to emerge, and they look very seamless. So anyway, back to the action. You can all see this news on crossout.net. The first one is a special activatable melee weapon. I don't really understand why they're using such strange verbiage, except that they're, you know, sorry guys, uh, no offense, but you are Russian, right? So, uh, maybe it's a translation? So what? You have to activate it, like it shoots something. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I mean, yes, melee weapons, saws, you don't activate, but you do have to activate remedies. And remedies have thermal... Don't remedies have thermal damage? Like, how is this any different from a remedy? Honestly, it's a special. So how is it not a special Draco? Can't they just say that? It's a special Draco. Done. Easy and understandable and... You know, what's wrong with that? What is so wrong with that? Um, I like it. I hope that by thermal damage they mean that it heats up. Because if it heats up, then what does that mean? Harvester comes back. And I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but you know I always liked melee. Harvester was my thing. I like it. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. If that's what actually happens, I will pull Harvester back and have some fun with that. Uh, otherwise, that's all I can say. It's... Cool. It's definitely really cool. I mean, it's not quite like the... It's not... It's like a fire from a rocket exhaust or something, so that's kind of nifty. That's the one thing I'm looking forward to besides a new style of... Oh god. <laughs> I can't aim like this. This is so weird. Oh man, what a weird way to mount cannons. Anyway, come on kitty cat. You can do this. You can do this! Thank... Oh, thank goodness. He's just sitting there. How could I not hit? Like, on this dull game. <laughs> Getting him in the face, thank you. Yeah, I just sit there. Don't move, don't... Yeah, just hold still, I like it. Anyway, what am I saying? Argus does not work as well with Pyres like it really... And come on, Argus is so limiting. And we already have to deal with cap cans and mines. I mean, come on, missiles, it's supposed to work, but it just doesn't for some reason. And I really hope they fix that now. Like, now that we really need Argus. We really need your Argus. Uh... It's insane. So they have these epic autonomous drones and there it's really hard to tell how this thing is going to work. Something flute-like for reasons. Why was that even a thing? Yeah, that's another thing, man. So flutes, why? Uh, you're going to essentially eject a drone at a certain direction like a flute. Uh, and I guess it just will attack. I don't know if it attacks an actual target. Thank you. Or if it kind of just stays in that area and just kind of hovers over that area and does stuff. I want a game with this freaking thing. So, legendary mine layer. Um, what happened? I mean, I guess it's okay to have new and cool things in the game. But who asked for a mine? Who asked for that? I really want to know. Was this like a Clan Wars guy? Because, you know, Clan Wars guys do have a say in everything. Did they say, I would like a mine for... Clan Wars, because <laughs> I paid money for this game. I should have a say. Uh, yeah, so it's like the cable is not difficult to break, but it's an electric thing. I have to read this and play, and it's impossible. It's like there's a turret that harpoons enemies, and then there's a cable, and there's an electric current through the cable. It causes damage and slows down the enemy vehicle, and you can launch the drones even while you're invisible. <laughs> Uh, uh. Uh. Like, it's kind of like a, they want to put a new thing. Do we need this? Do we need another kind of annoying mine leader? We have annoying mines. Do we need a new one? 
is crazy, am I right? <laughs> I can't. I mean, I'm reading this, it's like... It just gets worse and worse. It's like, okay, there's a dirt, and there's a harpoon, and there's energy in the harpoon, like electric stuff that slows it down and causes damage, and you can launch it while you're invisible. It just gets worse and worse and worse and worse. <laughs> uh, I have a solution, so bear with me, guys. Bear with me. I have a solution, so don't, it's, it's, it's gonna be okay. I can act like I'm salty for dramatic effect, but it's gonna be okay. So... Two kinds of cancer. Third kinds of cancer. Skipping over. Oh, God. Let my face... Let the blood drain from my face and I'll turn back to my usual pale self and I'll begin with this third kinds of cancer. I do. I, I need a freaking... Some, I need some Advil now. <laughs> I am getting a headache for real. Because I'm not, I'm not even done. The next one is automatic... God. Automatic tracking system. So... Yeah, uh, we, we're all kind of stuck having missiles all over the place, but don't worry because you have Cloak and you have Griffin, and there are, I wouldn't say completely foolproof ways, but there are ways of dealing with what we can all agree on is a complete horror. Uh, no. Automated tracking system. So now you have no defense over what you needed to defend against because there's no way to... Uh, dodge these freaking missiles anymore. It won't allow your enemies to go invisible or flee in an direction. Why should they? This is they should be dead. They should just be dead. Just let them die. They shouldn't have any reason to escape your missiles. They should be dead. Just let them die. They add this on to their missile cancer and make it really more missile cancery cancer because it's already cap I like I said, Argus does not help against pyres and hurricanes accurately like it really should it doesn't shoot enough of them so just die just you don't deserve to live just die i would say it's always been paper rock scissors but it's never been paper rock scissors paper rock scissors paper rock scissors paper rock scissors okay so uh okay so rock i got the missiles then uh paper i got the cloak now like there's scissors again because now i got the anti-cloak and it's just, yeah, there, that's many, many steps for the paper, rock, scissors thing. Uh, so, the solution. Yes, right. I have had this just here, sitting here for the longest time, waiting for this moment. So, what is the solution? What is the light at the end of the tunnel? What is the rainbow in the leprechaun? Whatever. There you go, my friends! There you go! You're welcome. You are totally welcome. This is on exhibition. It's been there for days. Dirty Cure. This is the cure to freaking everything. I did this when Annihilators came out because I knew something was going... And then it got worse. It got dusk. It got pyres. It got nests. It got other stuff. It just keeps... feels like it just keeps coming. And now, what the hell? There's a new missile drone thing. Laser thing. There's a new... Tracking system crap. There's new mind zappy garbage. Here you go, people. So have no fear. I will be there in every PvP match just to help you out. So look for me in the game and I will be helping you just zap off all these horrible bandits. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry. I got you. I totally got you. You stick with me. Zap, zap, zap. I'll take care of you like, a, like one of those cleaning fish around a shark. I'll just clean this little num 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 num, clean them up for you. Don't worry about it. You know, that's why I'm here. That is why I'm here, folks, for you. You're happy. You're welcome. There you go, folks. There you go. Double Spark is coming back. All right. So we have one more thing to talk about. And at least it's not complete going to give me a, a migraine. So happy that. It is a legendary cab. Yay. A legendary cab. People are really excited and they're like, okay, it's a heavy cab that's gonna just blast off and be so freaking fast and it's gonna be fast for your friends too and blah blah. And I'm like, what? Uh, here's the thing that I really don't get. Uh, you have to activate this. There's a cooldown. It's not like you're just going fast. Uh, you're going to go fast for a limited time and then it's over. So it's like a burst of speed. So... That's like a really spe- I'm the last guy standing. Last cat standing, guys. That's a very specific use 
for a speed boost on a heavy cab and from what I can tell you have to actually target one friendly person. Like many things, it sounds very overcomplicated. So yeah, Gabriel, thank you. It is like an Omnibox. Omnibox is epic. This one is legendary. So it gets a speed boost, but doesn't do anything with reloading at all, as far as I could tell. Um, and you have to target your friendly person to uh, also get this boost. Very complicated, very Clan Wars, obviously, because uh, everything is for Clan Wars, right? Boom. And um, it's still legendary cab, which is heavy, which still means, as far as we know so far, it still means you have that uh, energy trade-off where it's only 11 energy. Uh, so the PS hike is going to be a lot. And um, yeah, is that PS hike going to sell this cab for sure? on anything that's not Clan Wars. Even in Clan Wars, when do you want to have a speed boost for yourself and a friendly player? That's very strange. And what kind of speed boost is it actually? Is it anything even significant? We don't know. There's so much that we don't know. Uh, yipes. Come on, reload! Thank you. So, uh, here's the thing in ja Ow. Missiles. Oh, speak of the devil. Missile drones. Uh, I'd like some Sparks for you, wouldn't I? So, yeah, I mean, Spark would do against those guys, but they would do against everything, I'm telling you. So, legendary cabs, as far as I can tell, have never been worth it for me, ever. Um, except for things like Clan Wars, which I don't do. But otherwise, legendary cabs are not, are just not great. In PvP, they're really not worth it. Uh, they're just not. Why? Because they're defensive. And what we've learned in this game is that offensive cabs kill. And since the favor cab, really, really since the Toreo, going even farther back, uh, the epic cabs have been killing it because they are offensive and they do really amazing stuff for certain types of, of weapons. And uh, legendary cabs don't do that. They are all defensive, and the payoff doesn't feel so great in PvP at all. This game, your armor is getting shot off, you're losing wheels, you're losing everything, you're trying to hide weapons. That's just the nature of the game. You want to hit hard. Defense isn't really going to help you a whole lot as much as offense. Bastion Cab, thank you, Gabriel. Bastion Cab is a defensive cab. It's an epic, and it's better than the legendary cabs because it is really freaking defensive. Nova definitely has a reason. It's a ca legendary cab that does something. Is there something about heavy cabs that limits it? Like, I'd love to have this heavy cab, but it's just too slow. Now I can have more weapons because it gets a speed boost. Is there anything like that? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe junk bow, maybe. But if you had junk bow, then you might want to echo, right? So... Again, Echo is a offensive perk, which is better than the defensive perks. All right, guys, this has been Dirk Dirk. I will see you later. You guys stay safe, uh, hang out, stay home, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Don't drop that Dirk Dirk. Hey, don't drop that Dirk.